where we are continuing to follow breaking news. We first brought you last night. Buffalo Bills player Demar Hamlin is in critical condition after collapsing on the football field. It happened after he was hit in the chest during a tackle during the Bills Bengals game in Cincinnati. The Bills tweeted that the 24 year old went into cardiac arrest and his heart had to be restarted. It happened on the field. The team says that Hamlin's under sedation at UC Medical Center in Cincinnati. So events like these are reminders of just how precious life is, as well as how important it is to know what to do in a similar emergency. Abel Rico joining us now to verify what you need to know about potentially life saving procedures available to you. And Abby, this morning we're talking specifically about an AED. Right, AEDs are something that you might walk by several times a day without even paying attention. Well, that changes here this morning. Automated external defibrillators. Machines like this one can restart the heart. And according to on-field reports, this is what was used on Damar Hamlin to restore his heartbeat on the field last night. We turn to several sources to learn the fast facts and best practices when it comes to AED usage. The FDA says AEDs are designed to treat people experiencing sudden cardiac arrest, and they're most effective when used within minutes of someone's collapse. While some are designed for medical professionals, the ones you'll find in public places like swimming pools and schools and in office buildings will be for public use. That means they'll include audio prompt instructions for how to use them, even if you've had no prior training. We checked the laws in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, all of which have some protection for so-called Good Samaritans, preventing liability for the person who stops to help someone in need. In general, the Red Cross outlines these steps for using an AED. First, you or someone else should call 911, then turn on the AED and listen for its voice prompts. Attach the pads to the victim's dry, uncovered chest and make sure the cables are connected to the machine. As the AED analyzes the person's pulse, make sure no one else is touching them. Shout, clear, before pressing the shock button if the machine prompts you to do so. After that, or if no shock is advised, begin CPR compressions. And as a reminder, you don't actually need to be CPR certified to perform it, but it is important, according to the CDC, to be educated on how that procedure works. That means knowing how to position somebody, where to position your hands on them, and the rhythm you should use to give them those chest compressions. And you know what, guys? There are a lot of different resources out there, including training classes, videos online. It's important to educate yourself, even on something as simple as where your AED is located in your office building today. It's important to educate yourself, but we just want to keep that conversation going as part of this story. I hope we never have to use it, no. but at least we have a little bit of mm -hmm. knowledge and background on it. Thank you, Abby. We know it's there. All right.